Hello everybody, welcome to our Facebook Live today. My name is Kyle Dine, and this is my special assistant, my daughter, four years old, whose name is... Zora. Zora. And we are so happy to be with you today live on Food Allergy Canada's Facebook page. So thank you all for joining us today. We are gonna have a really, really great time. And we're gonna learn a lot because, well, we're all at home right now. We're all in the same boat where we're, uh, you know, we're making the most of, of this new situation. But one thing that's really important to me as an allergy educator is that education continues on, that we are all remembering these really important lessons that we live through every day, no matter whether we're at home or whether we're out and about and things get back to normal. So. We're gonna go over some really important things today. We're gonna to have a lot of fun. Zora is gonna be a little here, there, and everywhere, but that's part of the, the live experience. But I do wanna thank Food Allergy Canada for, for having us on their page. I have been really, really good friends with Food Allergy Canada for over a decade. They've helped me out when I was, when I was having issues with my own food allergies and looking for resources. And I've been working with them for a long time now. And they do so much to help support, educate, advocate for Canadians at risk for, for anaphylaxis and food allergies. So a privilege to be on their page today. But for me, I am a food allergy educator and I go over to schools all across North America when schools are in session. And right now I'm making the most of my time at home by having concerts with my daughter and doing assemblies virtually. And for me, it's a lot of fun, but it's important to me because I find it's not only just about knowing about food allergies yourself and being empowered if you have them, but it's really important for everybody else to know about food allergies as well. Surrounding yourself with people, kids, friends that know about allergies as well, that are understanding of them because that creates support around you. So, you know, if you have other kids that don't have allergies, bring them onto the computer room today and they can learn too. If you have kids with food allergies, they're probably gonna be experts on this. Everybody's welcome. Everyone is going to learn a lot and have some fun too. So I've had food allergies for a long time. My daughter does not have food allergies. Go figure, my wife has celiac disease and how that works, we're still wondering. But I'm allergic to quite a few things myself. I've had allergies ever since I was about two years old. So I've had them for a long time and I've learned how to manage and stay well and stay safe with them. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit about my own allergies. I'm gonna give you some stories. We're gonna have some music. We're gonna have some puppets, maybe Zora's dolls. We'll see where this goes today, but we will have fun and it will be a little spontaneous. So thanks for bearing with us. Now, I'll start off today with a little song. And if you want, because this is pretty cool on Facebook Live, you can actually leave comments right in the stream here. And if you want to say, hey, like Adele just did, hello to you and your family. It's so cool because I can read it in real time and respond to you. So feel free to write and if you like what you see, you can press little hearts or like symbols. Can I just sing a song before? You're gonna help me out with this first song, okay? Oh, and at the very end, you are definitely gonna get a solo today, that's for sure, Zola. Yeah. But <laughs> this song is all about the foods that I am allergic well, I want to. to play this song. Well, maybe we'll do that one at the end. Okay. All right. But this one is a long list of the things that I might be allergic to. And Whew, there's quite a few things here that I may or may not be allergic to and I want to challenge you at home a little math class at home today to try and count all of the foods that I list in this song all right good luck there is a right number Zora do you want to help me sing this one okay come on up on your stage but, uh, first I need to switch on my dolly okay and we got some dollies coming for this one too Excellent. all right ready yep. here we go I'm allergic to peanuts, eggs, milk and wheat, broccoli, soy and meat, pears, peas, peaches, plums, avocado, bubble gum. <laughs> Good job, Zara. I wish that was it, but there's more. I'm gonna speed it up, all right? Pepperoni, pork chops, salt and pepper, soda pop, almonds and pistachios. Honey Nut Cheerios. Are you still counting? Alright, let's speed it up even more. Mussels, truffle, shellfish, berries, cherries, radish, lamb jam, ham spam, sea clams, and teddy grams. Woo! That's getting quick. Unfortunately, 
but there's more. <laughs> All right, keep counting. Leeks and greens and lima beans, potatoes, rice and sour cream, bacon, butter, brown bread, Brussels sprouts and bean spread. Huh. I'll be impressed if you're counting all these. But there's more. Let's do one more really super fast, all right? <gasps> tomato, tofu, tuna fish, tricky tea, taco dish, melon, mango, mushroom, mint, mozzarella, mandarin. Now, did you count all of those foods? Did you get more than 20? More than 30? More than 40? More than 50? Well, if you got the right answer, which is 56, congratulations. Now, wait a second, am I allergic to all those things? Absolutely not, thank goodness. I will tell you what I'm allergic to, though. And I would love for you to write in to the comment box what you're allergic to. And we'll see who has the same allergies here today. But Zora, I'll hand you some signs here. Okay. So it is really cool to be part of the Food Allergy Canada page today. And I'm going to be doing kind of specific information to the Canadian market. Because I imagine most of us are, are tuning in from there today. And I hope you're all staying safe. But we'll do the top allergens, priority allergens in Canada. Which are, number one, peanut. And peanut can be in things like peanut butter. It can be in chocolate bars and granola bars. Another really common allergy in Canada are tree nuts. And tree nuts are all those different types of nuts out there, like almonds, walnuts, cashews, pistachios, hazelnuts. They're called tree nuts because they grow on trees. You got it. All right, let's see what's next. Egg. I heard a thump over there. Egg. An egg can be in many different foods, uh, baked goods, it can be in, in uh, pasta, it can be in mayonnaise, it can be in so many different things. That's a really tricky one if you have an egg allergy. All right, what's coming up next? Milk or dairy foods. And that can be yogurt, sour cream, milk, cheese. Obviously, that's a lot to avoid. And those can get into a lot of other foods as well. The next one, fish, is one of the common allergens. Things like salmon, cod, uh, tuna. And very related to that, similar but different. And I know my signs are a little different than, uh, than what Health Canada, but shellfish, mollusk, things in that category, whether it's crustaceans or mollusks in the shellfish category. That could be things like lobster, crab, or mollusks like uh, mussels, oysters. A couple more here. Wheat. And wheat allergy, that is different than celiac disease, which is um, where people have to avoid gluten, which is a protein found in wheat. But with a wheat allergy, they both have to avoid the same things with uh, think wheat which, or gluten for celiac disease, which can be in things like pasta and cookies and breads and cereals, grains. All right, another one, soy. And soy is a bean. It's the main ingredient in soy sauce. It can be in tofu and other things as well. And in Canada, we have a couple other ones too. Sesame seeds. Uh, sesame, which can be in hummus. Uh, little seeds on hamburger buns. Mustard is another priority allergen in Canada. Mustard seed, that can be those little yellow seeds in a jar of pickles. And sulfites, which can be preservatives um, in vinegars and oils. So feel free to write down your allergies in the comment box. I'm allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, egg, fish. I'm allergic to all shellfish and mustard. I'm also allergic to penicillin. It's a medicine. So feel free to write down your allergies in the comments here. Wow, I see a whole bunch participating. Some have uncooked dairy allergy, peanuts. Wow, excellent. And we have, uh, we have Michelle from Food Allergy Canada who's moderating today. So if you wanna ask any questions, if you have any comments for Food Allergy Canada, she'll be helping you out as well on there. So this is pretty interactive. It's great to have her help as well. Now, how do I remember all my food allergies? Well, I've had them for so long. I'm pretty good at remembering them by now. I bet you guys are really good at remembering your allergies too. But I also have another secret. I actually have something I wear every single day that helps me stay safe with my food allergies. And to talk a little bit more about it, I'm going to bring out one of my puppets. And I only hope I have room for one of my puppets in my puppet stand. <laughs> huh. Let's see if we can make some room. Excuse me, dollies. I'm going to have to just well, slightly move you. Well, 
And then we'll put them back, all right? You got this. And there we go. Now, I'm going to bring out my friend Lucy. Let me now, see if I can find so her. Now, this will be so tough to put them back up. <laughs> well, howdy, y'all. It's me, Lucy. Now, I have allergies, too, you know. Yep, yep, yep. Even though I'm a sheep, I'm allergic to milk. Yep. And I'm allergic to eggs. And yeah. And a lot of other things, too. But those are the ones that are really tough for me because I live at a farm. I gotta avoid those cows and those chickens. But you know what? I stay safe every single day. And I wear something real special on my wrist. Do you see it? It's called a Medic Alert bracelet, and it's got all of my food allergies on it. Mm-hmm. And I wear it not just to remember my allergies, but to remind other people not to share food with me. And if I ever had an allergic reaction, people could know what's wrong and get help right away. Now, anyways, I hope you all have fun today, and I hope to see you again sometime. I gotta go count some sheep, y'all. Bye-bye! Wow, thanks for coming out, Lucy. <laughs> now, she was talking about a bracelet. And maybe you know what I'm talking about, what she's talking about, a medical alert bracelet. And I have one on myself, right there. And if I flip it over, all of my food allergies, they're all listed on the back of that bracelet. Peanut, tree nut, egg, fish, shellfish, mustard, penicillin. Now, why would I wear this bracelet? Exactly what she said. I want to let other people know I have allergies. Then they know to, to absolutely not share food with me. If I ever had a reaction, they would know I have allergies that I need help right away. It's also a really good reminder of something else that I know we are all experts on right now. Something we do multiple times a day to stay safe and to stay healthy. We always need to wash our hands. Hey, Zora. It's time for your song. Are you ready? Come on over, it's the hand washing song. Because Zora has been practicing this song many times every day. And she's gotten pretty good at it through the current times. Zora, can you do the song with Zora? Come on. She gets so distracted with all the great things going on at home right now. But Zora is my leader for this song, and I'm going to get her her instrument. And if you have a drum or an instrument at home, maybe you can join along with Zora leading the hand washing what song. Is that oh, well, you got this one. And you'll have to look afterwards for the rest of the eggies. There. Probably there. So come on up. Oh, you're going to do the egg for this. Cool. All right, so Zora's going to go through it once by herself, and then I'm going to join in the second time. And you can join too, yeah. Oh, I know. You just want to play right now? Can we do this song and then we'll do lots of playing afterwards, okay? All right, you ready? Oh, your dolls? Yeah. You know, this is this is really fun and it's a lot different than my live structured school show where it's just me we're making the most of it zora's been a really good sport but when you get dollies involved you know what happens now zora are you ready to lead this song okay are you ready turn on the tap turn get, on the tap get your hands wet get your hands wet pump the soap pump the soap and don't forget and don't forget the scrub 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 don't miss the spot don't miss the spot dry it mom Dry them off and give a thumbs up. And give a thumbs up. You want to do it one more time and really give it this time? We'll do it loud. Turn on the tap. Get Turn on the tap. Get your hands wet. Get your hands wet. Pump the soap. Pump the soap. And don't forget. And don't forget. To scrub. To scrub, scrub. Don't miss the spot. Don't miss the spot. Dry them off. Dry them off. And give a thumbs up. Way to go, Zora. Awesome job. Can I do one by myself? Oh, at the very end, okay? There's more dinosaurs. 
Oh yes, those like symbols she thinks are diamonds. So and hearts. <laughs> and there's hearts. Yes, it's very exciting. <laughs> Thanks, Zora. Great job leading that song. Now, here's my question to you kids out there. How long are you supposed to wash your hands for? How long? Are you supposed to wash your hands right now and always for two seconds? I don't think so. How long are you supposed to wash your hands for? 20 seconds, absolutely, or more. And before, after we eat, when we're coming back from outside, playing around our house, it's really good before and after we eat, we are washing our hands to stay safe and stay clean, absolutely. Now, I've had food allergies for a long time. And I do all these things. I wash my hands all the time. I, I stay safe absolutely every day. I'm telling my friends about my food allergies. I wear my medical alert bracelet. I hope you guys are too. But sometimes accidents happen. And I have had, on a couple occasions, the things that I'm allergic to by accident. And I've had allergic reactions. Maybe you've had an allergic reaction before as well. And you know they are not fun at all. And it can be a bit scary, but I know that you guys are always going to be okay. And today we're going to go through some of the signs, the symptoms of an allergic reaction, just so we can remember what exactly they look like, because they really f feel strange and weird. But we're going to do it kind of in a cartoonish way with my friend Susie here and my assistant Zora. Could you help me put some signs, some symptoms on, well, on Susie? Well, I need to see. I'm not the <laughs> All right, so she's going to put some signs up on Susie. Some signs of an allergic reaction. What's first? Sneezing. Achoo! Sneezing, runny nose, watery eyes. Where can we put that? Yeah. Uh, I'll put my hand behind here. Uh, no, Let's do it. <laughs> that is silly. I've never seen a sneeze that big. <laughs> All right, what's the next one, Zora? Another sign or symptom of an allergic reaction. Dizziness. Feeling dizzy, feeling faint or nauseous, vomiting. I don't have a picture for that though, don't worry. I don't think so, yes, yes. way up top. Okay, what's next? No, no, no. Do you have a silly four-year-old at home right now too? I bet so. <laughs> All right, what's next? All right. What's next? Swollen Let's see. Lips. Swollen lips, yeah. And you can get swelling in your mouth, your lips, all over your, your face really other places too, but especially swollen lips. Let's go next. Wheezing. And wheezing or trouble breathing, that's a really serious sign or symptom where you could have troubles breathing right in your throat. So maybe around her neck, close, real close. <laughs> oh boy. All right, what's next, Zora? We got three more. And I bet you guys all know these symptoms like the back of your hand, rashes. Speaking of hands, you can get a rash on your hand, your skin, anywhere on your body, on your skin. Yep. Okay. Right on her chest. You're doing, you're doing a great job, Zora. No, it's on her dress. It's on her dress. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? <laughs> hives. And hives are those little red itchy bumps that could happen anywhere on your skin as well. Yeah, little red bumps, hives. Stomach cramps. Ooh, really bad stomach pain. And that goes right on her. Her legs? Zora. Oh my goodness. We are going to have to move all of this stuff around. And this last one? How about on our skin? Right on our arms. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Perfect. Anything that we need to move around now that we see it all on her? I'll give you one chance. I would do it the right way. We I've, go there, I've been floating the idea of a biscuit. <laughs> if all goes well Not today, that's my ammunition. <laughs> now, Susie has all these signs, these symptoms of an allergic reaction. And I know it's a cartoon. It might look a little silly, especially with lips on her neck. But in real life, we know that an allergic reaction can be a really serious thing. And it's so important that we speak up we tell an adult right away if we're ever feeling really sick or really strange. For at school, we tell the teacher, or for at home, we tell our parents. It, we should never be embarrassed of speaking up. You didn't do anything wrong. Your parents won't be mad. It's really important we just tell them because then they can start to help you. She's gonna be okay. I know 
I will always be okay. I know you'll always be okay because we got a secret, right? We carry something with us everywhere we go that can help get rid of an allergic reaction. What's it? What is that thing that could get rid of an allergic reaction? I know, I know. Zora knows. Do you know? If you do know, I want you to say it out loud on the count of three at home. All right, ready? One, two, three. An EpiPen is what I've got right here. And an EpiPen, it is a brand that has a really special medicine inside called epinephrine or adrenaline. Obviously, this is a really important thing. It is serious medicine. It's not something you would play with. It's not something that you would joke about. It's certainly not something that you would take out and play with because this is a really important piece of medicine. Now that we have all this time at home, it's a great time to review with our parents how to use an EpiPen and learn more about them. EpiPen.ca, they do have trainers available. Food Allergy Canada has a lot of resources on their site about epinephrine, so it's a great time to really learn as a family more about these. I've had to use mine a couple times, and I know that it works. I know that it helps me in an emergency. Absolutely. Zora, do you want to play a game now with everybody? Hide the EpiPen. Okay, we're going to play a game. I'm going to turn off my webcam for one second. Now, I want you to first take a look at this room because Zora is going to hide the EpiPen somewhere. When I turn my web camera back on, I want you to find it. Good luck. All right, put it somewhere. Okay. Oh, interesting spot. That's where we need to put it. Okay. They'll never see it. Okay, come on. Over here. All right, are you guys ready? I'm going to turn my camera back on. Try to spot the EpiPen. Do you see it yet? <laughs> if you guessed right there, you're absolutely right, right on the top of my fireplace. Now, I'm going to bring out a couple more of my puppets here to talk a little bit more about EpiPens. And these are no ordinary puppets. These are superheroes. And they're superheroes with EpiPens on their belts. And their names are Epi Man and Epi Man Jr. I wonder if they're around here. Epi Man! Happy Man Junior! Oh, I think I see them. Ta-da! Hi everyone! I'm Epi Man and this is Epi Man Junior! Epi! He doesn't say much except the word Epi! Epi! But he can say it really fast! Epi! And he can say it really slow. Okay. We're superheroes with capes, big black boots, and we wear our underpants on top of our pants. <laughs> Anyways, we carry our EpiPens on our belts everywhere we go because they can help us if we ever have an allergic reaction. Epi, Epi! Yeah. Now, we never joke about them or tease about them because we know they are so serious and they look pretty cool in our belts, too. Today, we are going to have a ton of fun together. Can you spell the word fun? I sure can. It's F Epi. No, it's not F Epi. It's F U Epi. <clears throat> it's F U Epi. F U Epi. F Epi. You epi and epi. It's times like this I wish Epi Man Jr. knew more than just one word. Epi. We hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Bye bye. Epi. Whoa, those two. Now what a treat we're getting at home today, watching a show all about food allergies, something that you guys know so much about already. EpiPens, allergic reactions, medical alert bracelets, you know this stuff so well. Now we're going to do just maybe another song or two and we'll start wrapping it up. We'll do some questions at the end. There's something else though that I bet you do every single day that helps you make sure that you're stay, staying safe. And it's not just making sure your hands are clean and not sharing food. For some of us, we're reading our own ingredient lists. And that's really important. The food we eat, we're 100% sure we know what's in it. Yeah. And I'm going to do a song now. 
all about. Oh, I like that one. Zora had a very special request today, and I think it's a great one to do today. A song called Stop, Please Don't Feed Me. And yeah, as I said, we do read ingredient lists. Our parents read ingredient lists. We need to absolutely make sure our food is safe. And if someone tries to share food with us, what do we do? Do we take it? Stay. No. What do we say, Zora, if someone tries to share food with us? We say stop. Stop, please don't feed me. Can you come on up here? And Zora's got a stop sign. If you want to use your hand at home, when I say the word stop, I want you to push your hand right out in front and say the word stop, all right? Let's do a test right now. Stop, stop. All right, use your hand just like a stop sign, all right? Are you ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, stop. This is why I go into schools all around North America educating kids about food allergies. So to really get these important, simple messages ingrained in kids. So when they get older and grow up, they just get it. They'll help support kids with food allergies. So if you want more information about my school assemblies, kyledine.com. And I got all the info there. And hopefully we can get back into school soon. But we're going to do one more game. Then we can squeeze in one more song. And this is your favorite game of all. The game called... What's missing? Bum, 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 bum. Now, what's missing? Pretty easy. I have a tray of things, very relevant allergy related things. I'm going to turn off my webcam for a second. Zora's going to take something, and you have to decide guess what's missing. So, I have an EpiPen trainer. I have some hand soap, absolute best thing to be washing our hands with soap and water. An asthma puffer. If we have asthma, really important right now, we're doing it just as we're supposed to. Eczema cream, if you have eczema, really important, we, got, we have that. Medical alert bracelet, a pen, not an EpiPen, just a pen, there is a big difference. And an ingredient list, we have gluten-free cookie label here. All right, so take a good look, take a good look. I'm gonna turn off my camera, and Zora is gonna make something disappear. Whoosh. All right, take one thing. Okay, good one. All right. Are you ready? I'm going to put the webcam back on now. What's missing? What is missing? Can you guess? You can write it in the chat box. What is missing is the ingredient label, the ingredient list. Kudos to you, Bravo, if you got that one right. Great job. So I think we might just do one more song. Hmm. Which one? Well, we can do stay safe, stay positive. But let's let's do a quiz first because we have so many smart kids during doing this show. We're gonna do one last quiz and then squeeze in a song and then we'll wrap this up. But this last quiz is a true and false quiz. It's really to test you guys to make sure you know your allergy superstars, and I know you are. So true or false? People with food allergies can eat small amounts of the food they're allergic to. And you can write in the chat box, do you think that's true or false? They can eat small amounts. That is false. Absolutely. If you have a serious allergy, we should not, we cannot even eat a trace of it. Way to go. 
All right, next one. If you saw someone feeling sick or you were feeling sick, you should tell an adult right away. That is absolutely true. We need to speak up, get help right away. Next one. Food is the only thing that people can be allergic to. That is false. People can be allergic to medicine like penicillin, like me, or insect stings, bee stings, latex like gloves. All right, a couple more here. We should always wash our hands with soap and water before and after we eat. You know this well right now. It is absolutely true. And ooh, here's another one. Sharing food with our friends at school is okay. Is that true or false? That is false. You got it. All right, let's do two more here. An allergy bracelet can help to tell other people what you are allergic to. True or false? Absolutely true. All right, one more here. I love this one to finish off. People with food allergies can do the same activities other people can do. 100% true. If you have a food allergy, kids, you don't need to let them slow you down at all. If you want to grow up and be an astronaut or a hero like a doctor, or you want to be a musician or a chef, whatever you want to be, you can do it. Allergies do not have to slow you down. They don't have to define you at all. And I know right now it's a tough time. We all want to get back to school. We all want to see our friends and have lots of fun again. But, you know, it's a great time for us to all grow and learn and for us to remind ourselves of, of our allergies and keep learning more right now. One sec. I'm going to do one more song and then I'll let Zora have the floor. <laughs> but I'm going to do one more song. We'll squeeze this in. It's called Stay Safe, Stay Positive. And for me, for me, that is absolutely crucial. It's not just about staying safe. It's about your mind, about staying positive and not letting allergies slow you down to find you. Don't let that ever happen because you can reach your dreams can to fight I allergies. Just talk this a little bit? What's that? Can I just talk After the song, okay? Okay. <laughs> I know you are so anxious to just steal the spotlight. My job's in jeopardy in a few years. All right. So do you remember this one, Zara? And I just started a new show. It's every Wednesday morning, nine o'clock, called Staying Safe, Staying Positive, because I think that type of message for uh, for kids is needed more than ever right now. All right. Are you going to sing it with me? Stay safe. Stay positive. Even if you really feel the opposite. There'll be days when the rain will leave you blue. But a rainbow will always shine on through. Stay safe. Stay positive. Stay strong and you will stay on top of it. Hurries may come, but they may go. You'll be alright as long as you know. Stay safe, stay positive. Remember these words as long as you live. Stay safe, stay positive. Stay safe and stay positive, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Now Zora's I, had an absolute ball with you today. How can I talk? And if you want, we'll have a couple minutes left here for any questions you want to ask me. Feel free, feel free to put them in the comments and I will respond to a couple questions right now. And while I'm looking at the questions, Daddy. Zora gets center stage for a minute, okay? So you can, we can talk. Dad. While I look at the questions. Are you going through the same stuff at home right now? <laughs> it is quite a juggle, but we are making the most of it. We really are. Yeah, you can talk, but I'm going to read a couple questions too. People are saying thank you. Uh, I want to personally thank Food Allergy Canada for allowing us to invade their page with, with this. I hope that you did uh, learn from this and have some fun too. Um, I, I typically am very structured when I do my school shows, so this is different for me, and I, I appreciate you guys having some fun with me at home. Um, someone just said, I love this, because Kyle sings about allergies, and absolutely, you know what, I get you guys, I've been through what you guys go through every single day of my life, 
So, you know, I can tell you, um, there's a lot of us, you're not the only one. It is okay and it's normal to have a food allergy. So never let it uh, slow you down at all, okay? You guys rock. And let me just see. It's hard to manage a computer and do a show at the same time. So someone wants to know how to get me to come to your school. So what you have to do is just really simple. Get in touch with me. Uh, you can do that through kyledine.com. Search up allergy music. You're going to probably find me. You can just email me, kyledine at gmail.com. And then I'll just send you information about my assemblies, a package that you can just give to your PTO, PTA, or your principal, and then they can make a, a decision and schedule accordingly. So just get in touch and then I can let you know at least when I'm on the road, when I'm available to visit schools in your area. So yeah, don't be a stranger. No tickling during a live show. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell kids about the Allergy Pals program? Absolutely. Now this is wonderful. Food Allergy Canada, okay, among yeah. with tons of amazing resources they have for parents and kids. Allergy Pals. Yeah. One more, okay. Allergy Pals is an online mentorship program for kids age seven all the way up to 15 years old. There's allergy allies for the older kids and it teams up a group of about six to eight kids of similar ages with an older peer mentor. And that peer mentor is, is a, a big kid with food allergies who uh, is trained by us to really just provide a environment of support so the kids can talk and connect with each other. And it's amazing. What, uh, what really happens in those groups. So we're about to open up registration for the new Allergy Pals Spring Session. And if you have time on your hands uh, right now, it's a great opportunity for kids to connect with other kids with allergies once a week. So go to foodallergycanada.ca, sign up to their newsletter, sign up to everything they've got, go to their resources section, look up Allergy Pals, or just search it up on their site. But thank you for that question. Is there a Canadian resource for medical bracelets? Uh, Medicalert.ca is one really fantastic resource. So I would recommend starting there and, and then branching off your research. But mine is from Medicalert Canada and they have a lot of benefits that I really appreciate. So I recommend looking into them um, and possibly others if you wanna see all the options out there. Um, a bunch of thank yous. I just see a giant long stream. Some people are allergic to, to latex. Uh, thank you for sharing that. It is way more than food that people are allergic to. Latex is, is very serious as well as medicine allergies and whatever it is you're allergic to, to wear a medical alert. Like I have penicillin on mine. That's really important that we are letting other people know uh, about our allergies. Uh, some people are saying they have egg allergy and F pies. Uh, food Allergy Canada, I believe, has resources on their website about F pies as well. So just go through their site. I know we have some time on our hands and they've got a lot of great things on there. So I think about at the end of the questions, that's about all I see. So I do want to thank you again for taking the time to visit today. I'm going to be doing my show called Staying Safe, Staying Positive on my Facebook page, uh, Kyle Dine Music, tomorrow. So you're more than welcome to join. We're going to have puppets. There's going to be music. If you want more info about my school shows and music and videos and all that, kyledine.com. So thanks again, Food Allergy Canada. Thank you all for joining. Thank you to my special assistant, Zora. And I wish you all a really great day. And I hope you all, yeah, you get the last word, okay? I hope you all do stay safe and make the most of this time, staying positive and making the most of it. Zora, what's the last thing you want to say? Daddy really knows a lot about allergies and Daddy is really good at doing concerts at school. I love this girl with my whole heart. She's my heart and soul, and she's my sweetie pie. And I hope that you, uh, I hope you enjoyed her and I doing our tandem together. Take care, everyone. Stay well. Bye.